everyone, it's me, Ultimate Gamer Freak, Double Dash UGF, and well, today, well, this episode here that you can see, it was actually originally supposed to be the third episode of the series, but it seems like my recording software doesn't like hour long videos, so instead it's, I'm gonna reduce it down to 20 minutes, 30 minutes maybe. I'll see 30 minutes for this one. If 30 minutes works, then we have a deal. If it doesn't, I'm going down to 20. But anyway, before we start, and I catch you up on what has actually happened in this game known as Rimworld, before we start, I'd like to, if you guys will enjoy this video, please do smash that like button. And if you are new to this channel, or if you've been here before, please do hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell, so you can get notified the next time I upload. Also, that is an actual call bell, that's what they call it. And I, I love it. It's the Hollywood Town Hotel. But anyway, I, I just have to wait for my friend to completely download and get into this game because we are playing RimWorld multiplayer. He is giving me advice on this game. We are playing on random events. On uh, it was uh, I can't remember what difficulty it was. It was it wasn't normal. It was above normal. I have to ask him. I can't remember. But there were originally two videos before this, but. As I said, kind of a problem when uh, your videos get corrupted. And so I don't think anything likes hour long videos because they both got corrupted. But I'm going to rejoin the call with my friend, and uh, he also is in here, so let's go. Alright, alright, and the video is going. So we are on hopefully the brink of getting yet another colonist which I'm gonna move this to two speed that way they're doing stuff oh, oh. but yes, hopefully okay. we're on the brink of getting here ha let's see shit sh sh say it Svetlana 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 uh, I'll eventually get it if we continue playing this game more regularly instead of having like a week long gap. Yes, yeah, so we have Soviet woman, mafia, someone, and someone. Americans, I'm gonna assume. They have very American or British names. But, uh, the great kitchen. Nubium head. What? Where did you go? What uh, happened? What? Did I disconnect? It tells me you have left. I... I think I'm lagging. Uh -oh. Well, I'm, I'm like IO lagging. Your hand just completely disappeared. Um, you wanna try to get that back on? Okay, let me try to reconnect. That was weird. And so while you're doing that, I'm gonna catch them up. We started this colony with just Alex, Emily, and Shetlana, and then we gained Poppy through a random event. Pirha, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, we saved her from a crash landing. I don't know if the wreckage is no, the wreckage is no longer there. But we also had an event where we had a man hunting Yorkshire Terrier. Man, that was funny. I wish you guys could have seen that. That was funny. Well, actually, it was a pack of them. A it pack of very been. aggressive Yorkshire Terriers. <laughs> Just one. Um, you know, I really am not a big fan of our entertainment area not having walls. I prefer buildings. Yeah, there, but they want the single artillery shell that lights up. On the entire bay. 
That is true. We need to get all yeah, this wooden walls out of here. Which we are slowly doing. Oh yeah, we also have an ancient danger right here. Which we're gonna eventually open and we gotta make sure we gotta open it not facing into our house. Cause that would be havoc. I have no idea how large this thing is either. Um, I'm just gonna continue this running while he's gone. Oh yeah, these two, Emily and Shetmana, are night birds too. Night owls, there it is. What are we researching right now? Geothermal power. We have a geothermal vent right in our base, and that's really good yep. for power. Uh, it provides us around like four solar panels worth of power, except it does so day and night. Yeah, it's un uh, uh, unlike solar panels that only do it during the day. Solar panels are pretty good, but uh, they're just not reliable. If you rely too much on them, you, your colony can just get self-destructed. Ah, and you are here. Okay, uh, now, please don't press anything. Yes, that's precisely what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea if you even caught on to what I did. Work. We have Emily. Cook. Emily. At, yeah. Like, yeah, but Emily's also our farmer. Yeah. But she'll eventually get to cooking because it looks like she's planted everything. Pira. Or Pyra. I don't know how you pronounce that. All it needs to be patched it up, it looks like it's a bite scar. On the left shoulder. Yikes. Alright. Bing bing! That's so, a mega sloth. Eat. Eat that cheese. Yes. Did you just get food poisoning? Eat that cheese. There's no cheese. Ain't raw food. It, I, I don't remember how to check if you just got food poisoning. Initial hope. Eat without table. Unsightly environment. Darkness. Minor pain. What? What? What's, what's hurting? An old gunshot. That's probably what's hurting. Okay, whatever. Hooray! We're taming an alpaca. Yay! Oh, yeah. Wool. Or whatever the heck it's called. 
Yeah, it's a really good cereal. Oh no. Not a cougar. Oh, to me. I, I do not have good experiences with the cougars. They have a tendency to suddenly uh -huh. form a pack and then attack. Failed. Capable amateur. What? What did you say? Alex, what are you doing? Oh my word, that takes a long time. Okay, uh... I didn't even realize how long that actually does take. Wow. Yeah, which is precisely we should do one room at a time. Uh, and try not to do it. Uh, so... Something to keep track of is you shouldn't be putting anything on three speed because that seems to, uh, do bad things. This wind turbine's not making a lot of power, just so you know. By a lot, I mean, I don't think it's making any. It's making 92, which is good enough to... Never mind, it's not. It's not even good enough to power that. It, the wind turbines vary in power. Usually this is why you require batteries, but we don't have the research for batteries. We can also construct a wood fire. What? Oh, I accidentally hit you. Okay, two speed is fine. Okay. It's three speed that causes the issues. Oh, oh my. Oh. Wind turbine generating 1300 watts. Nice. So, what are we gonna do if Ira does not want to be a part of our colony? We let her go. Or we're gonna capture her, but we don't have a prison cell, so we're just gonna let her go. Oh yeah, Shvetlana is our doctor, isn't she? Yep. Who's about to break? Alex! You're probably gonna hide inside your bedroom because your bedroom's ugly. Like you did last time. Now, what's going on? What do you mean? Oh! Interesting. What happened? Figured out why we didn't have any meals ready. Why? Oh, you didn't order any, did you? Did you? Rather the fact that the fuel stove was not accepting vegetarian food for the meals. <laughs> it seems like our stove is a little bit anti-vegan or vegetarian. So, Pyra is leaving. Yep. And just let her. She'll hopefully spread good word about our colony for helping her live. Who has the bolt action rifle? Don't kill her! Oh, Alex. Just kidding. better so, remember what we did for you. Factions, Eolor. Oh, yeah, that was, that would probably have been a bad idea to capture that. <laughs> Wait, what? what but faction? yeah, what to have. What faction is she? Oh, Exited 
the map healthy, quote unquote. Puppy. Look, yeah. Look, now we have better relationships with Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, I have no idea. So, whatever you're cooking meals, make sure to clean up the kitchen. Because the cleaner your kitchen, the less chance of food poisoning. The better the cook, also the better chance of not getting food poisoning. Where did we say we're putting the canteen? Uh. Wasn't it down here? Yeah. Okay. Architecture. Structure. Uh, steel walls. Steel walls? No, 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 those are bad. Never, never steel wall. And also, do you see the where you should be placing limestone walls? The walls. What? What are you making that a limestone? Okay, that's good. Make sure you have a door. I know, hold up, let me build the walls. And then, doors, limestone. Limestone doors. We now have another alpaca. Alpaca 2. So, what do we have in terms of animals? Alpaca 1, alpaca 2, okay. Male and a female, that's good. <laughs> Start making babies. Oh yeah, they will. We need more pack of babies. And then we also have Roxy over here, whose owner is no one. Because cats don't have owners. <laughs> That's actually kind of true. Why do Especially... they keep walking through that one area that he's working on? I swear. What the heck? <laughs> Why are they- oh my- don't make love right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh no, that entrance to the cantina will never be the same. <laughs> this is gonna be known as the love door, because that's where two alpacas had love. Alpaca's love door. You know what, I'm gonna call this episode the alpaca love. Or Pack is making love in a doorway. That's probably what I'm gonna call it. How right, is Pack so... is even able to open the doors? So Alex has nine in constructing. That's Pretty good. Yeah, and he has a really good talent since he keeps making really good beds and stuff. Confucius. <laughs> Wait. What just happened? Alex Kulik has named Hair One Confucius after being nuzzled. Oh, okay, okay. So now Hair One actually has a name. Instead so, of just being Hair One. If you go to the needs for Alex, you'll see that he has the buff nuzzled. Oh, it's a wild rabbit too that just came up to him. And oh no, him, so it's, our, our, it's our rabbit. We self tamed. We self tamed. Yes, but it's still a rabbit. You don't expect rabbits just to come up to you and be like, ha. Huh. I want to nuzzle your face. What's going on? Oh. 
Oh no. I just went sweaty as sweetie. And I was like, what? So, if you're not aware, it is possible wood as a weapon. <laughs> I have a stick! Well, if you know how to use a stick, it could be a weapon, so... And also, the clearer uh, the room is with the wooden, re wooden research table, the uh, faster the research goes. Uh... On a night owl? Yeah. Okay. We should probably start working on getting them their own rooms. Too, eventually. That, that probably isn't top priority, but we should probably start to look into doing that. The only one that we really need to be worried about is. Alex? Oh yeah, because he, he has that need for impressive bedroom. Yeah. Or she. Alex? Alex is, a, Alex is a she. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> so our complete colony are all females. No babies. <sighs> I, I know, I know. Babies, and that's how a pack of one got food poisoning. Please ignore our incompetent cook. <laughs> yeah, clean that room. <laughs> what nasty. You know, I think it's a little bit more important to have a dining room than an entertainment room. Yeah, there's something else a little bit more important than either of those two. What? Oh, a door. Oi! Poppy! Out of all the doors you choose, you choose that one. I thought Poppy was about to do it again. <laughs> right, so our bottom section is not fortified, but I don't think we should be too worried about it. We'll eventually worry about that. So, a bit of a trick, if you want to trade up to your construction of some worker, if you bake yourself like a marble chest table or something like that, it it's like 4,000 work. So if you need 4,000 work for something, it's very easy to train uh, the construction skill. Yo, stop it! <laughs> This is more important than the entertainment room. Entertainment comes after food. Because food's a necessity. Do we have a pyromaniac? 
Uh, we have a cannibal. Oh yeah, we have a pirate maniac. Yeah, yeah, so we do. I, uh, entertainment's it's, more important than food. I believe shit, Lana was a pirate maniac. So, pyromaniacs have a reputation for being really bad for your colony. So, try to make the least amount of things out of wood and steel. Well, steel can't burn. Unless you're, like, burning at a really high temperature. Which I don't think normal py pyromaniacs think you should get to that temperature. Who is the pyromaniac? I believe it's Shetlana. Yeah, it was Shetlana. I knew it. You crazy Russians, you pyromaniacs. Why wouldn't it be the Russians? I mean, you guys already do the craziest stuff. Freaking driving tanks on the surface streets. Oh! Oh! Like up tree. Looks like we'll be having a bad storm tonight, guys. There's fire. Ah, I thought it's still covering. Oh, there's a fire now. Put it out, Emily. Emily! Oh, it's a dry one. Wow. Fire out. Well, there's another fire. That needs to be put out. Oh, it's fine. Okay, so, a prisoner being held by a tribe of Kempiar has managed to steal a radio and call you. Tribe Gua is being held at a camp near uh, nearby under armed guards. Rescue her and she will join your colony. She is 73 old veterinarian. She says that there is an enemy outpost at the site guarded by two enemies. The camp will disappear after 15 days. If you miss your opportunity, you may never hear from Chargua again. Do we take it? Let's see. Let jump to location. 1.40. That's, that's long. Okay, well then we're not taking it. And she so, and Tatagoa will never be heard of from again. Why is it so bright? Did somebody turn off the brightness on the night? Jeez, like, how big is the moon? But it's daytime. It's like old TV brightness, though. Like, wow. Oh, probably because it's raining. That makes sense. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here, so I'll be right back. Don't press anything. Very well. So, I would like to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, or if you've been here before, Please do hit that subscribe button and also ring that notification bell so you can see the next time I upload. I'd like to once again thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. See you later. Peace out.